What's going on, Cheesy Army? Mr. AGZ are bringing Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi Bell. This time it's up against Jay. Jay is bringing in Crocodile, the Pikachu. He's got the Skunk Tank, Farfetch'd. He's got the Cloyster and, of course, the Gyarados. Now, I'm running in with Dawn Fan. I've got my Gyarados. I've got my Garchomp. I've got my, got my um, Ferrothorn, my Nidoking, and Heatran. Now, looking at his team, I'm actually very worried. And the reason why I'm very worried is that Pikachu. Nobody wants to mess with Pikachu. No way. Not only that, looking at the fact that he's got Cloyster on his team, I, I really don't have a hard counter to Cloyster. Not with this particular team. So... That's really not good. And the Crocodile, of course, is Beast. So, yeah. <laughs> really not looking forward to this battle. Even though, if you look at the pokes, I should win it. It's one of those battles where it's like, I think I'm going to be upset. I really do. So he's going to lead off with Gyarados. And for those that have seen my battles, Gyarados is power. If you do not know about Gyarados, you're messing out. He's going to go ahead and run Dragon Dance immediately with his Gyarados. So that's that's a Dragon Dance Gyarados. Since he didn't get the Intimidate off, we know that he's probably going to go ahead and be the, what do you call it, the variety that will sit there and pretty much just try to beat the Living Tar out of me. <laughs> so Gyarados is poisoned. He's going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Dawn Trunk because I don't want to take much damage. We're going to go ahead and send in my own Gyarados now. Here comes Gyarados. He's going to run Waterfall on my Gyarados. I'm going to be able to eat that up because I'm a Gyarados. Even though it's not very effective, look at all the damage it did. So at that point, I'm just sitting there like, you got to be kidding me. So we're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve, hoping that I can survive an attack from his Gyarados to raise our defense, to raise all our stats, minus the special attack, minus the, uh, minus the speed stat. Um, he's going to go ahead and run Substitute. I'm going to go ahead and run Stone Edge on him. That's going to finish off his Substitute. Thank goodness. Super effective. Crit hit. Goodbye sub. Not to mention that he's toxic, so he's going to get more damage on his Gyarados. So, we're in a decent position. The, the bad problem is, number one, he's a Mega Gyarados as well. Number two, he got a Dragon Dance off earlier, so that's, that's not good. That's not good. So, he's going to be faster than us. Here comes a Mold Breaker, and he's going to use Waterfall on me. On me. Here comes the Waterfall. Last time we saw how much it did. Fortunately for me, I'm surprised I'm able to live. Run the run the um, Stone Edge, but I miss. That was a key, key, key miss. So now we've left him with the position where he can take us out. However, he's going to go down to the Toxic, or he should go down the Toxic. So we do go down. Yay for that, for him. But our Toxic is going to be able to finish off his Gyarados. So we basically just exchanged Gyaradoses within the first five turns. Now he's going to send out Skunk Tank. Now, <laughs> recently I've been more used to seeing Skunk Tanks because all I know is they come in and explode. That's all I can tell you. They come in and explode. I'm going to send in Ferrothorn and I'm going to re-switch out to Heatran. Heatran, being the uh, still type, I'm hoping can take that. And then also sometimes Skunk Tanks come with the move Flamethrower. Now, I have Flash Fire, so I'm able to eat that up. He's going to withdraw his Skunk Tank, seeing that I saw that, and send out Farfetch'd. This Farfetch'd, let me tell you, is a beast. He's a beast. I ran Earth Power. I'm going to switch out my Heatran. And the, re and the reason why I'm switching out is because I actually have a Scarfed Heatran, just to be different. We're going to send out Dawn Tuck, and Farfetch'd is going to use Swords Dance. Oh my freaking goodness gracious. Farfetch, 2 OP. Here comes the Brave Bird. You'll see just how much OP he is right here. Wow, the power causes me to shake. Crit hit takes me down to my sturdy. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say. We do survive, of course. We have our red card. And unfortunately for us, the red card ends up being actually a bad, 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 bad item to have on my Dawn fan. We're going to go ahead and run knockoff on the Skunk Tank. Not that that's going to matter. Um, it's not very effective. We do knock off his normal jam. He's going to go ahead and run the poison jab to save his explosion, which we know is imminent. It's not very effective, his poison jab, but it's enough to take me out. I only have one HP. So we're going to send out Heatran next. Heatran's going to come back in. So we're floating in there with my air balloon. We're going to go ahead and run Hidden Power, thinking he might have switched, but he didn't switch. Hidden Power is not going to do anywhere near enough, and here comes the explosion. 
Oh my goodness. Exploding from his butt. I don't know. Um, I am going to take it because I'm still tight. And Skunk Tank's going to faint. However, the bad problem is, is the fact that my air balloon is gone. My air balloon is gone. Here comes Crocodile. And I know what Crocodile can do. He can just sit there and earthquake me. But I don't really want to switch into anything because um, that would probably end up being worse. Although I needed my Heatran desperately. So Heatran goes down and out. Here comes the Moxie boost from Crocodile. I totally forgot about that until I saw that. We're going to go ahead and send out Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is going to be able to check Crocodile pretty well. Even with the Earthquake. Here comes the Earthquake. Earthquake does quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and get our Stealth Rocks up. There's my Rocks. And that should take care if he brings in the Farfetch. The Farfetch. Take care of the Farfetch. Here comes the other Earthquake. We're going to go ahead and run Power Whip on the Crocodile. Power Whip is going to do a massive amount of damage, but it's not enough to finish off the Crocodile. Here comes the Earthquake. That's going to be enough to finish me off, unfortunately. So now the question is, is can I take out this Crocodile? This massive Crocodile. Now the other good thing is, if he switches out Crocodile, Crocodile will go down to the... Um, We'll go down as well to stones, so not bad. We're going to switch out to my car charm, get a Dragon Claw off. Crocodile is going to faint. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Here comes the Cloister. Now, I run Cloister, so I know everything that this Cloister could do, pretty much. We're going to go ahead and run Dragon Claw, um, because I know there's really not much we can do. Here comes a Shell Smash, which is going to pretty much let Cloister be invincible. Pretty much. Pretty much. There is the attack raise, the special attack raise, the speed raise. Now here's a surprise. He actually had the white herb item. And since I wasn't able to finish him off, white herb is really going to come into handy for him. Here comes the Icicle Spear. Icicle Spear is going to easily two-hit knock out my Garchomp. And that's just, that, that's just it, you know? What can I do about it? So we've got some pokes on his team, which can all go down to which can all go down to Stone Edge. Not Stone Edge, the so stones. The question is, is, can I get out this this <laughs> this Cloister? But there's no way, no way possible for me to take out Cloister. I'm in a position where there's nothing I can really do because I have nothing that can outspeed him. So we're going to go ahead and go down to Jay here, unfortunately for us, because we would have been able to finish off everything except the Pikachu because I didn't see the Pikachu come in at all. But Jay, great battle, man. Totally loved it. Give it up for Jay, guys. Leave comments in the section. What do you think I should have done differently? I know I've already talked about some misplays that I probably could have changed. But you know what? That's part of the game. It's fun. That's why we love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, the road may be rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. Until next time, catch them all.